Wandering is such a funny thing. You can wander aimlessly and still go somewhere. You can wander alone only to find someone. But there are also times where it can take you further and further into the depths of isolation, separating you from the world even when you are still so close to it. Sometimes I wander, not with the expectation of going somewhere, but with the expectation of going nowhere. I find it nice to dive into a lake where I can't see the bottom. The intrigue of trying to figure out what's there is mesmerizing. Sometimes it's just my spirit, forgetting about my body and stepping into a dream, entering a world where my only company is myself, where no one can bother me or worry about me. Other times, I wander in the physical realm, walking as if my eyes are closed until I find a new place that I haven't before. People find it confusing when I wander. They wonder why I don't talk to them. They take it personally. However, I simply find it entertaining, just as they enjoy movies and TV shows and video games. Just like those things, wandering is part of another world, a fictional world, but one that you can still touch. Maybe they don't realize it, but they wander too. The only difference is that I do it consciously. I've only ever wandered alone. Maybe someday I will find another wanderer. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But the uncertainty, that's the whole point in wandering, isn't it?